Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta and this is about Marshall JMP2203 plugin by Softube and how it compares to a real 2203. So, the song you just heard and saw, I wrote it specifically for this video and I used the Marshall JMP2203 plugin by Softube. Okay, let's go to the screen, see what we have here. It's a beautiful JMP2203, the predecessor of JZM 800. So, what do we have here? Your usual controls, and then there's a bunch of presets that you can, you know, maybe base your own sounds on. And then we have a, a channel strip, like on an old school mixer, where you can dial in your preferred microphone. So there's uh, 414 and then there's a couple of voicing options. I guess it's the in what angle the mic was placed in front of the speaker cabinet. Classic 57, SM7B and 251. And then you can by bypass these microphones if you want to, let's say, use uh, third party impulse response. And then there's faders and a gate, which is pretty cool. And then there's a EQ section, which comes really handy. So you can add some highs, dial the mids, there's frequencies, you, you dial your preferred frequency, what you want to do. And let's actually put these in the middle while we are going to dial a sound. And then there's, uh, if you want to add some lows. Okay, so now right now I have chosen a 57 and 414 as microphones, uh, 57 being the dominant one, and it's like... <laughs> and the 414 and both okay so 
all controls in the middle. There's high and low sensitivity, sensitivity inputs. I usually use always the high. So let's dial in a good basic tone. So first preamp. It acts like on a on a G203, so there's not that much gain on tap. Then master. What I really like about this plugin and all Softube's Marshall plugins that these actually acts, these plugins acts like real amplifiers. So when you turn the master, the more you turn, the more power tube distortion rumble you add and let me show you like after nine seven nine nothing really happens volume wise you just get a more rumble <laughs> So let's find the switch button. It's there around, around six. Well, there's a little bit of that power, but it's not too much like, you know, after six, seven, I think. To my taste, it goes a little bit too loose. There's too much, like on a real one. Okay, then let's dial in the rest of the knob. is my signature ESP with EMG 81 and 85 tuned down to B flat. I will try out a standard tuned guitar with passive passive pickups later in the video. <coughs> Don't worry. <laughs> then let's go through a couple of different microphone options. <laughs> It's like a room mic. Let's stick with the 57 in classic. Okay, and now the cabinet or the impulse response that there is, it's a uh, Marshall 960B with a 75 watt Celestians, the, the classic setup. And to be honest, I've never been a big fan of those speakers because the, the mids are kind of like strange and the sound seems always that it's not that much in your face as I would want it to be, like uh, Vintage 30. But this EQ comes in really handy, so you can really fine-tune your sound. So this is post-EQ, so it's like your usual amplifier, cabinet, microphones, and then the EQ on the mixing desk. So what I like to do is I like to find the... because it's a little bit like 
the mid-sized train is a bit hunky. So what we're gonna find is, is the ugly mid and then we're gonna tame it back. So first we add the mid gain to maximum so we can really pinpoint that. <laughs> Take it back. Let's see lows. Okay, let's leave that off. There's enough low end, and then want a little bit more presence, and that's what we can do by adding some highs. Okay, now we have a good basic sound which cleans up. Clean is a subject matter. To me, this is clean sound, so always a little bit that overdrive going on. And what I really like about this and the other Marshall plugins by Softube that like I said, they react like real amps and they also react like real amps to real pedals. So these take pedals, it's, I don't know how they done it, but it just reacts like real amp to real pedals. So let's add a good old bus SD1 super overdrive. <laughs> Fantastic. So this was kind of the sound. Let's actually see how close it was what I used on the on the song. Oh yeah, yeah, I had a 57 on I think this was on the right channel. And uh, yeah, this was on the left channel. So I filmed myself and played the solo with this. The EQ was exactly the same. I just uh, switched the microphone. So let's go through the, the presets that I made. So this is a 257. <laughs> This is 57 and SM7B. And this is 57 and 414.
All right, so how it compares to a real 800. What I have here is a JZM 800 203 Zach Wild signature, but this is heavily based on a JMP. It has the vertical inputs, six filter caps. So this is, I've, I've owned a real JMP, I think it was 79. So this sounds really close to that. My 800s, 2203s, they are a bit more aggressive. There's more harsh sounding, maybe, but there's more, you know, highs and stuff. So this is a general, I think, a little bit warmer kind of sound. So the only difference is, is that this has a 6550 power jeeps. So the, the low end is a bit different. Uh, there's the mids, you know, EL34s, which I think this amp is, well, the, the amp that this was modeled after, I think it had EL34. So there's a little bit difference, but okay, let's see. Let's first, play a little bit with the plugin no super overdrive <laughs> and then let's mute this and what I have here on this channel is the amp and it goes to sir a reactive load and direct out so there's no impulse response but I have impulse response here I have the exact same impulse response this is a amp room so if you have the amp room you can mix all amps cabinets use them separately or whatever so this is basically same microphones same same impulse response so the 9060B 4x12 cabinet with Celestin GT1275 speakers. Okay, so. <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? It's, it's so... <laughs> I mean, there's there is a certain depth what you get with the with a real amp that I'm not sure if they if anyone could ever completely get to the plugging but man I must say I think this is so close okay let's let's try with the with the super overdrive uh, first the plugging <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So it's, <laughs> damn, and yeah, when you use the overdrive, you just need to make sure that when the OD is on, your input signal isn't clipping. I have the Focusrite Scarlett 2Y2 and I, I set it the input level so that at, when I have, no matter what pedal I have, it blinks green so it doesn't clip the wrong way. I mean, with overdrive you're adding clipping to the sound, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's choose the plugin. Oh, <laughs> I had the plugin. <laughs> well, let's choose the amp now. Okay, let's, let me grab a standard tune guitar. So this is a EFP LTD Phoenix with a Duncan Custom, I believe, and a Fat Cat, which is basically a P90 in a humbucker enclosure. Okay, no overdrive, nothing, just the amp. Let's turn on the amp. Okay, then uh, a little bit with the SD.
Okay, then the actual amp without ST first. <laughs> Okay, then let's go through a couple of the presets we have here. A bit hollow. The guitar is a little bit out of tune. Okay, then bite edge one. Let's take something else, clean, uh, jazzy. Okay, and that's something more um, crunch reef. <laughs> So there's a lot of great presets, but well, <laughs> you heard it. I'm not actually sure which one I like more. <laughs> it's plugging on, on my real amp. Obviously it's a bit different amp, but really close to the, the JMP. So, I mean, what can I say? It, well, you heard it yourself. It's, it's a joy to play. It reacts, feels, and sounds like a real amp. Takes real pedals like a real amp. The mixing desk, the cabinet, the channel strip section is, is great. And I'm usually not or never have been a big fan of the GT1275 speakers, 
usually a you know, V30 greenback guy or something similar, but I must say that this sounds really good now. It could be that because the, the, these impulse responses or the, the sounds, the micings are based on a, or how do I say, Tony Platt, really famous British engineer. He, well, he's done so much great albums. ACDC is back in black, Motorhead stuff. So he knows his Marshalls and he, he has been involved in this. So when they did the impulse responses, well, these, these are basically impulse responses, which you can control differently. He mic'd the cabinet and amp, and these are, these presets are, if I understood correct, his presets, how he has, he dialed the amp and choose the mic. Okay, the camera stopped the recording, I guess. It was a cue for me to stop the video. But, like I said, really great, and realistic sounding and feel, feeling, plugging. Uh, Softube has a 20-day tryout for all of their plugins, so uh, if you're interested, go to their website, links in the description below, and links link also to my Softube playlist. I have done other videos of their other Marshall plugins too, and will do a few more in the future. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care, all the best, bye.